if melody is the essence of music, timbre is the essence of synthesis. Explore with me some of the many ways to bring your synth timbres to life. Welcome to Harmonic Animation. We've looked at using pulse width modulation to modify the harmonic content of a pulse wave. Now let's look at different ways of controlling the pulse width. Another controller that's great for animating the harmonics is the envelope generator. So for instance we've got the ADSR output going to the pulse width mod input and the pulse output going directly into the VCA so that we're not filtering it at all and let's listen. Let's not forget the keyboard control voltage as a controller. Of course, we normally use it for the pitch of the oscillators. But in this case, we can also use it to change the timbre as we move up and down the keyboard. A little vibrato from the aftertouch on that last note. Sample and Hold also makes a great controller for, for instance, pulse width modulation. Let's take the random Sample and Hold output, route it to the pulse width modulation, and gate it from the internal Sample and Hold clock. We can also use a more deterministic source for our sample and hold. Let's take the output of a VCO, the sawtooth output, write it into the input of our sample and hold and listen. VCO2 sine wave output as an input to modulate the frequency of VCO3, which we're using as the input to our sample and hold. One controller that is not to be forgotten is the sequential controller or sequencer. Uh, the output of the sequencer is typically used for a pitch control voltage as a substitute for a keyboard control voltage. But in our case, what we're going to do is animate the harmonics with a series of eight preset voltages from the Behringer 960 sequential controller sequencer. So, let's listen to what each step sounds like. The output of the second row is going into the pulse width modulation of VCO2, which is what we're listening to. So, let's see what happens when we play the sequence. That's a very interesting and potentially rhythmic variation of the harmonic content by sending the output of the sequencer into the pulse width modulation of the oscillator we're listening to. We've shown some interesting controllers to animate the harmonics of a pulse wave. Can you think of any others? 
If so, please leave me a comment. Now let's put these concepts to work.